All right, nerds. Significant figures. Yeah. This stuff's... I, I love this stuff. I don't know why. I do. Yes, I do. It's because I used to be a scientist, and it's really, really important. So here's your vocabulary. If I can just get you to pause the video here, write this down so you've got to refer back to as we move through the lesson. Now, we're going to make this nice and simple. We're going to give you some concise rules. Uh, so, significant figures. That's how, it's basically our level of precision. How accurately do we know something? This is so desperately important because if you overstate your precision, you are lying. And um, academic honesty is really important in science. So, when we're looking at a number, significance means it's a number that counts. It's a, it's a digit in there that counts. And we know if something has three significant figures, that means it is accurate up into that third number. Whether it's a decimal place or not, doesn't matter, because you can scientific notation alternate in decimal places anyway. So, all non-zero numbers are significant. This means if something's non-zero, it's been measured, so it counts, it's significant. Um, one, two, three, four, five has five, five significant figures. Um, zeros between non-zero figures are significant. For example, one zero zero two five and one hundred point two five both have five significant figures, and that means it was measured to that last that last significant figure. Leading zeros are non-significant, and that's because there's lots of ways to write numbers, depending on what system you're using and blah blah. blah. For example, zero zero two point five, which is how it'll be written on a set of scales, for example, and zero point zero two five. Both have two significant figures. Leading zeros are non-significant. Um, trailing zero figures with a decimal point are significant figures. I will show you what this means. So 2.00 and 20.0 both have three significant figures. However, Trailing zeros without decimal points are ambiguous. We need more information. Now, um, hmm, yes, they're ambiguous, but they shouldn't be. And if you move to a higher level beyond, say, high school, they won't be. But we'll talk about that in a second. So 200 could have one, two, or three significant figures. And it's tough to know which one it is. Again, we're going to show you how it should be written so the ambiguity is removed. But... Um, it is significant. Now, when you're giving an answer, for example, um, you should not have ambiguous significant figures. And there are a couple of ways to sh work around that. Let's show you. So if you want to show significance with trailing zeros, cool, right? You could use an over-under bar. There's one way to do it. I like it. It's nice and simple. For example, 200, so this 200 and 2000 here, 200 0 have three significant figures, which means this 200 was, say, say just say it's 200 grams. Um, it was measured up to the nearest whole gram. If this here is 2,000 grams, this was measured, measured? This was measured to the nearest 10 grams, okay? So, see what I mean? We're talking about levels of accuracy and precision here. So, 200 is measured to the nearest one gram, Imagine the grams. And here, 2,000 is measured to the nearest 10 grams. So that's cool, right? So that's one way to do it. Or that bar could be underneath and it's under bar. That is one way to show significance. And you should show significance. You shouldn't have ambiguous numbers on your page. Uh, the other thing you do is you can simply put a decimal place there. That decimal place shows that it's 200 on the money. There's no zeros after it. And it looks weird, which is why I prefer the over-under bar. The other way to do it is scientific notation. Scientific notation rocks. I love scientific notation. Um, so 200 dot or 2.00 times 10 to the 2 have three significant figures. 200, if you don't have it with a decimal point, and you know that it's measured to the nearest whole gram, like if, if it should have a bar above, another way to show it is 2.00 times 10 to the 2. This has three significant figures. Because you'll see that it follows a decimal place. Woot. All right. That's significant figures. Significant figures are pretty awesome. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. We'll get back to you as quick as we can. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with us and what we're doing. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.